Ever since I got my hands on one of these Insta360 cameras, I've been absolutely fascinated by their potential to create stunning 360 videos. If you're looking for an action camera that can do it all, the Insta360 ONE RS is the one you're looking for. What's going on folks, Bennett Grazer here and in this video we're going to talk about the new Insta360 ONE RS so that you know what this thing is all about. The motorcycle scene you've just seen was entirely shot on the new Insta360 ONE RS and to find out more about how this camera works, keep on watching. Let's talk about the build quality and design of the ONE RS. As mentioned, the Insta360 ONE RS is a different action camera with swappable modules to suit your shooting needs. You have the freedom to switch lenses to either turn it into an action camera using the 4K boost lens or the 1 inch wide angle lens module or turn it into a 360 camera using the 5.7K 360 degree module lens. The modularity is one of my favorite things about this camera because it means I can use it for various shooting purposes. The ONE RS Twin Edition kit comes with two lens modules, the 360 and the 4K boost lens. You also get a core module, the battery base, a lens cap for the 360 lens and the mounting bracket. An invisible selfie stick is also included which auto removes the stick in 360 shots unlocking insane creative potential and making it look like it's floating in mid-air just like a drone. Insta360 has also sent me the 1 inch edition an optional extra that doesn't come with the ONE RS twin edition. The 1 inch sensor lens is a superior version of the 4K boost lens with a larger sensor for better low light performance increasing the overall overall quality of the video. So these are the three lens options available as of making this video. Insta360 sells all of the parts separately and in packages that include either just one or a combination of lenses. This is a more cost effective solution as you can upgrade any of the parts with the newest version as they become available. This way you can also keep up with the latest technology without having to spend a fortune. Now the whole system like I said is made out of three pieces. The three pieces just click together almost like Lego parts holding pretty securely. You can add more security by using the mounting bracket to lock everything together. The ONE RS is waterproof down to 16 feet which is 5 meters underwater using the bracket. There is a 1.5 inch LCD screen that supports touch and swipes to navigate through the camera settings. You can control the camera through the touch screen or the Insta360 app that can be downloaded on the App Store. I prefer the Insta360 app as I can work with a larger screen and better monitor my recordings. The great part about this modular design is that I can position the screen on the same side as the lens to use it as a vlogging camera or on the opposite side for capturing subjects in front of you. So whether you want to record yourself or someone else, this modular action camera has you covered. So let's look at the new core updates. The Insta360 ONE RS is the second generation of their module camera. The biggest upgrade is the 4K boost lens. It is pretty much like using a GoPro Hero 10. Its wide angle 4K video recording capabilities makes it perfect for shooting action shots. It has a larger sensor than the previous 4K lens that came with the ONE R, which means it can capture more light and detail. It can also retain the colors more effectively, resulting resulting in a better image quality. Additionally, the ONE RS has a 6K widescreen mode that allows you to record 6K up to 25 frames per second in a 2.35 by 1 aspect ratio for a more cinematic looking video. So you could say it's a 6K camera. On both the ONE R and ONE RS, you can shoot in slow motion at 1.7K at 100 frames per second and super slow motion at 1080p at 200 frames per second. Also the 4K boost lens can capture 48 megapixels 
megapixel still photos if you're into shooting photos with your action camera. The next feature they added is the instant zoom. When using the 4K boost lens, you can tap on the plus icon to choose different angles or use the zoom slider to customize your focal length. You can digitally zoom in up to 2.7 times. I like how easy it is to enable this feature to instantly capture different focal lengths to make your video more engaging. The active HDR mode is also a new feature that helps you to achieve a greater dynamic range in your video. Previously on the One R, this was only available for still photo. Active HDR is especially useful when recording in high contrast situations, like when there is a bright sky and a dark foreground. With the active HDR mode on the One RS, it will automatically adjust the exposure to create a balanced video that doesn't look overexposed or underexposed. Another new update is the automatic built-in flow state stabilization. This means you won't have to stabilize your video using Using the app and does it all in camera. There is a built-in optical stabilization inside the lens, but Insta360 software stabilization takes it to the next level as the video comes out very smooth, as you can see in the motorcycle scene. What's great is that the 4K boost lens and the one inch sensor have an ultra wide 60 millimeter focal length that captures more in the frame without having to worry about being cut out when filming yourself. You could even use your arms for vlogging and still have a steady shot and your shoulders and head would be in the frame, but it's more convenient to use a selfie stick, of course. Another upgrade is that the One RS has an additional mic for crisper and better audio quality. You could vlog with the One RS and if you're out side and it's windy, you can use the mounting bracket to avoid wind noise as it comes with a wind protector. All right, so I'm now vlogging using just my hands. I think this works great because the One RS isn't that heavy and it's kind of weird. I would prefer using the extension pole. So as you can see, the lens is wide enough and you don't have to worry about being cut out of the frame. So it's pretty nice. Now recording with the 360 camera, on the One RS. But this is how it would sound like using the internal mic on the One RS with the bracket. Let me know what you think about the audio quality. There are additional accessories like the mic adapter to use external sound recording equipment to increase the audio quality. The mounting bracket has also been redesigned and not only did they include a windproof mic cover, but it has become more convenient with the quick release mechanism for switching lenses on the go. If you're recording for longer periods, the mounting bracket also ensures that your camera stays cool while recording because of its heat dissipation design. Most users will pair the One RS with a mounting bracket as it comes with a quarter inch thread at the bottom that allows you to use the invisible selfie stick. We used a clamp to secure the One RS on the motorcycle, giving us a unique perspective. Insta360 also includes a motorcycle kit if you want to record motorcycle type videos. Another upgrade is that the One RS has better battery life that can record 20% longer than the One R. Longer battery Battery life means you can record for longer periods without worrying about running out of juice. Also, the Wi-Fi transfer speed has improved. The new processor can transfer your mobile clips 50% faster, which is great if you edit on the fly on your mobile device using the Insta360 app. So these are the new updates of the One RS. As you can see, a lot of updates have been made. Regarding the 360 mode, no upgrades have been made and are the same on both cameras the One R and the One RS. With the 360 lens, you can capture the entire surrounding and not worry about missing a moment. Shooting a motorcycle scene can be difficult with a traditional camera, but with the 360 mode, I don't have to worry about composition and can choose my favorite angle in the edit. Shots like these are usually very difficult to capture, but due to the 360 video recording and enhanced video stabilization and automatic removal of the selfie stick, you get a pretty amazing video. The maximum resolution the 360 lens can record is 5.7K at 30 frames per second. Though as for the final output, meaning after editing the 360 footage and reframing it into a standard horizontal frame, you are left with a resolution output of 1080p. This is enough to be uploaded on social media platforms, considering that 1080p is the standard resolution. Additionally, editing 5.7K footage on a phone is pretty impressive 
impressive and I find that the quality looks very good. The best way to edit 360 videos is using the Insta360 powerful AI editing app, which is available for iOS and Android users. The app is very user friendly and you can quickly edit your videos to be uploaded on your social media. Playing around with the different reframing option is also fun and allows you to create unique shots. I also like using the app as a monitor when recording with the One RS because it gives me a good idea of what the camera is seeing. I can also control it remotely and start and stop recording using the app. One of my favorite features is smart tracking which tracks and keeps the subject in the frame. This is useful when you're vlogging or doing action type shots. If you're looking for a more creative way to create engaging 360 videos, Shot Lab is a great option that offers various creative templates to choose from making your creative edits easy. For creators who prefer editing on a desktop, the free Insta360 Studio software is a great option for Mac and Windows users and also offers plugins for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. So should you upgrade from the One R to the One RS? I guess the main reason to do so would be the new core features that the One RS offers. These includes the 4K boost lens with better image quality, longer battery life, faster Wi-Fi transfer speed, and a more user-friendly design with their new brackets. However, if you're happy with the One R and don't think you will need the new features, then there is no need to upgrade. However, the One RS has some major upgrades and is the better action camera, except for the 360 video, which has stayed the same. I believe it's worth the investment if you're looking into using the 4K boost lens to increase the quality of your video. Now, if you don't own an Insta360 camera and are looking into getting one, then I would definitely recommend getting the uh, One RS instead of the One R. So who is the Insta360 One RS for? The Insta360 One RS is a great action camera for anyone who wants to capture high quality video and photo. It is also a good choice for vloggers and content creators who want to edit on the go using the powerful Insta360 app. The modular design makes it a versatile camera that can be used in many different ways, making it a great choice for anyone who wants to capture creative and unique content. I especially enjoy using the 360 lens for action type shots as it allows me to capture everything around me and create a unique edit using the Insta360 app. Now the two-in-one camera design is very convenient as I can use it as a 360 video camera and an action camera. Both the 4K boost lens and the one inch lens for low light shoots provides great image quality, making the One RS a great choice for anyone looking for a versatile action camera. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. I want to thank George and Megan as well for helping out in this video. You guys are awesome. Make sure to follow them on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great great day and I will see you the next time and I hope this will uh, do the job and you just drive safe and slowly no no she's crazy she's crazy oh my god I should have bought that motorcycle package well it's a, it's a cool perspective though <laughs> oh shit it wasn't planned